Proposing viewpoints in context database is a great place to begin research on social issues. You can find it on our website under Pro and Con Sources. Simply click the link. You'll need to log in with your Stardy and password. And to get started, you can scroll down through here where they have some popular issues listed, or you can browse issues here, and you'll find a list of over 400 different topics to choose from. Each topic contains a variety of research from academic and popular sources. You can also search by keyword. You see some of those results there. If you prefer to search by a keyword that you already have in mind, for example, vaping, I'm just going to go in here and type my topic, and you'll notice that opposing viewpoints will recommend other search terms to include with this topic. You can also add your own search terms at this point. I'm going to just go ahead and search, and here you can see all the content types that are available for this. This search found academic journals, which are credible sources of information that often contain original research, and they go through a peer-reviewed process, which means they were vetted by other experts before they were published. Viewpoints are essays written by experts that express a particular point of view on this topic. You'll see that the viewpoints in, listed in here are all from the Opposing Viewpoints collection. Reference is excerpts typically from encyclopedias, infographics are uh, infograms, visual displays of information. You have images and videos that you can look at. Audio includes podcasts, news from newspapers. Then you have magazines, which are not necessarily scholarly, but they can be great sources of popular information on a topic. Statistics from different places. You have uh, websites that can be um, linked to credible sites for more information. When you find something that you're interested in, say you want one of these um, academic journal topics, if you click on the title, you can see the entire article. You can see um, the full text of the article. So here's some information about the article, the author, when it was published, what it was published, what journal it was published in, more information about it here. You have a permanent link here. And as you go down, you can see that there's, you can read the entire article. If you scroll back up to the top, there's some pretty neat things to look at under citation tools, for example. If you click cite, you can get uh, example citations from MLA style, APA style, Chicago. Um, and I say example because they're not perfect, they're computer generated. But if you compare these to an official style guide, it's a great way to get started with your references or your works cited page. You can also email the article to yourself by clicking send to. You can type in whatever email address you like that's required as your email address and your subject line. The title is already in there. You can put a note in there for yourself if you want. And you can choose send as full text or citation. I recommend doing both so that you have all your information together. Um, it, that saves you time having to go back and look for references later. And then just click send and it'll send it to your email. You should get a confirmation when you do that. And finally up here you also have the download and the print buttons. You can download the article and save it to your computer or if you log in with your Google account you can save it to your Google Drive. If you have more questions about using opposing uh, viewpoints in context, please contact one of the librarians. We'll be happy to help.